Imagine it's the middle of winter and you have no jacket. You go to your favorite shopping mall and find one that you like. You wear it a few times and realize that it doesn't have quite as many pockets as you'd like, and you wish it was a little bit thicker and warmer. On top of that, it doesn't really go with your favorite outfits. You still see a use for it, so you keep it and go back to the shopping mall and buy another jacket. This one has all the pockets you need. It's thick and warm and matches all of your favorite outfits. It's the perfect jacket. Launched in 2019, Binance Chain is a blockchain developed to support the Binance Decentralized Exchange. It also powers the Binance Coin. After its launch, Binance realized that it didn't quite have all the functionality that they wanted. Just like that first jacket, they still saw a use for it, so instead of scrapping it, they kept it and built the Binance Smart Chain. And in today's video, we're breaking it down. Welcome to Crypto Sketch 101. We're the number one go-to spot for all things crypto, and we're glad you've stopped by. If you love cryptos as much as we do, please give this video a like, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we're talking about the Binance Smart Chain. We'll examine what it does, why it was built, and how it runs alongside its counterpart, Binance Chain. We'll also take a look at some of its drawbacks and examine what the future may hold for the Binance Smart Chain. There's a lot to cover, so let's get into it. To understand why the Binance Smart Chain was developed, it's important to first look at the limitations of Binance's first blockchain, the Binance Chain. In April 2019, Binance unveiled the Binance Chain blockchain to serve its decentralized trading vision. At the same time, it launched the Binance Decentralized Exchange, which is built for high transaction throughput. Binance aimed to offer a more friendly user interface and user experience. One that was superior to the clunky decentralized exchanges on the market. For trades on the platform, it sought sub one second confirmation times. The problem with Binance Chain though, is that it's not really flexible. It wasn't really optimized for smart contracts. Scalability became an issue as well. And that's why the Binance Smart Chain was built. According to Binance, simply upgrading Binance Chain to introduce additional functionality would have made the network less efficient by bogging down the network's speed. Instead, they decided to build the Binance Smart Chain which would enable the same level of speedy transactions, while also vastly expanding the features and capabilities available. The Binance Smart Chain runs in parallel to Binance Chain and offers a platform for the development of decentralized applications and other DeFi solutions. It has cross-chain asset transfers, a 3-second block time, interoperability with the Ethereum virtual machine, and a proof-of-stake consensus algorithm. In building the Binance Smart Chain, its architecture and development were based around four key principles. Number 1. Ethereum Compatibility Binance relied heavily on Ethereum, the most popular smart contract platform. It had a big user base, as well as miners and developers. Despite challenges including high gas prices and security risks, the network has outperformed the competition. Binance chose not to reinvent the wheel, opting instead to use what worked for Ethereum with a few tweaks, the most notable of them being the consensus mechanism. Cross-chain interoperability is made easier by copying Ethereum's source code, allowing native Ethereum decentralized apps to be readily ported to the Binance smart chain. Number 2. Staking the Binance Smart Chain uses a staking consensus mechanism to ensure community engagement and governance, and block creation from the community. However, the main reason Binance chose staking over mining was that it prioritizes network speed. Staking is also less harmful to the environment and allows for speedier block creation. Number 3. A Standalone Blockchain As previously mentioned, the Binance Smart Chain was built separate from the Binance Chain. By separating the two blockchains, Binance ensured that there would be no service outages if one of them failed. Binance was also able to add new technologies that were either not used before, or were tried, but had unfavorable results or side effects. And finally, native cross-chain communication. Binance made sure to design native cross-chain interoperability between the two blockchains. By using the Binance chain's relatively fast Binance decentralized exchange, 
tokens on the Binance Smart Chain network can now be readily traded for other tokens. For all its wonderful upgrades, the Binance Smart Chain is not without a few drawbacks. Perhaps one of its biggest criticisms is that it is heavily centralized. The Binance exchange is unduly involved in the smooth operation and maintenance of the blockchain thanks to the proof-of-staked authority consensus mechanism, resulting in a massive central point of failure. There are only a maximum of 21 validators active on the network which goes against the central blockchain concept of decentralization. Deflationary tokens are also a concern. BNB tokens are burned on a regular basis, resulting in fewer outstanding balances. Reducing the supply may appear to be a good thing, as it often leads to a rise in token prices, but there are some potential drawbacks. For example, an increasing demand combined with a falling supply could result in a supply squeeze, causing uncontrolled prices, and as a result, greater transaction costs. The Binance Smart Chain also has a heavy dependence on Ethereum. Binance went to considerable lengths to replicate the Ethereum network, making transferring Ethereum-based decentralized apps to the Binance Smart Chain a breeze. As a result, there hasn't been much innovation in the Binance Smart Chain beyond what's already accessible on Ethereum. Unless they can innovate above and beyond, they will always be lagging in the shadow of Ethereum. So what does the future hold for the Binance Smart Chain? When it was first launched, it gathered a lot of attention. As a result, it saw high building and activity on the chain. While it was first built to address a few key points, its goals began to change when it saw such activity. Binance Smart Chain's future goals include facilitating broader interoperability in the blockchain realm, including between blockchains, decentralized applications, and assets, all within a compatible ecosystem. The future of any blockchain is undoubtedly unknown, even with tendencies pointing in one direction or another. Even though it has heavy reliance on Ethereum, the Binance Smart Chain still offers an additional option to build upon aside from Ethereum, given its focus on higher speeds and lower fees. In February of 2022, it was also announced that the Binance Chain and Binance Smart Chain would be rebranded into a single unified name called the BNB Chain. Binance calls the BNB Chain the evolution of Binance Smart Chain. Binance Smart Chain, the exchange's Ethereum-compatible consensus layer, and Binance Chain, the exchange's governance and staking chain will now be referred to as BNB Smart Chain and BNB Beacon Chain respectively. Other than the names, functionality of the blockchains is not expected to change. And that's all we have for today's video. We hope you were able to learn something that you may not have known before, regarding Binance's two blockchains, and in particular, the Binance Smart Chain. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining us and we hope to catch you in the next video.